in financial services, the greatest opportunity and the, the, the largest value from AI and machine learning is in predictive analytics. One way to get involved with business application of AI is this emerging sector where you, where you have worked in the last couple of years of auto ML, which means auto machine learning, basically. So what it is and why it's relevant today, why it's important today? Unfortunately, there is no good standard definition of automated machine learning. Um, but my view is that auto ML is a technology that automates the process of building, testing, deploying, and managing predictive analytics. And the word predictive is key. This is not about BI or descriptive analytics. It's about predictive analytics and being able to learn from your data to be able to make predictions about the future. So predictive analytics is one subsector of uh, artificial intelligence, if you like. So your choice of saying, uh, you know, predictive analytics it, it is because applications in other areas, so for example, computer vision and so on, they're still far to be completely automated, or, or it's because, uh, if you like, there is a, a much higher demand around predictive analytics to be kind of all partially automated. My focus has been uh, the financial services sector. And I believe in financial services, the greatest opportunity and the, the, the largest value from AI and machine learning is in predictive analytics, particularly in credit, in financial crime, and in improving the client experience. I think those are areas where there's enormous untapped value and opportunity for banks and fintechs to truly differentiate themselves competitively. If we have to give uh, an overview, what companies uh, are the major players, how the sectors operate today, and um, what are the company's different strategies, what would you, like, what would be that overview? At my last count, there were 12 companies in the auto ML space. And they each take a very different um, approach to auto ML. I think the leaders in the space are Data Robot, H2O, their driverless AI product, and Data IQ. There's a lot of others in the space, but um, they, they tend to focus on a, on a smaller part of the process. You know, either... Um, you know, the, the front end with the data flows or um, building and testing models or deploying and managing models in, in actual use. I think Data Robot and H2O Driverless AI have the most complete solutions. Data IQ takes a slightly different view. They focus really on data scientist productivity so one of the questions that I, I ask people when they, they say, what should we think about with auto ML technologies is what are they trying to do? Are they simply trying to make data scientists more productive or are they trying to open up data science to a broader part of the organization, what, what Gartner calls the democratization of data science, enabling business analysts and data analysts to create um, sophisticated models. I think that's where much of the expertise on the data lies outside of the data science community. And if companies are trying to tap into that expertise and democratize data science, then you know that will lead them in one direction. If they're simply trying to make their existing data scientists more pr productive, I think that would lead in a, in a different direction in terms of the technology selection.